Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and I am super excited to talk about the count function in SQL which is an SQL aggregate function in today's video. So let's move ahead and explore about this SQL count function and get our hand dirty by writing some queries on it. So in any of the data management platform, an aggregate function are those functions which allows you to treat the value of multiple rows as an input based on a certain criteria to form a single resultant value which will have more significant meaning. This means that we can perform certain calculations over thousands or millions of rows by using these aggregate function and SQL count function is one of those aggregate functions. So there are five different aggregate function in SQL which we will be looking in the next videos but in this video we will be looking into the count function and we'll write query for that. So what exactly is this count function? So this count function returns the number of rows that matches a specific criteria. So this means that if you want to get how many rows are there in a particular table you can use this count function and the simplest example of the count function would be the count star from a table name so we have this table email data dot promotional mail where we have multiple rows and if we need to get how many rows are there in this particular table what you can do is that you can simply write select and then you will put count within the bracket you will put star select count star from the table name and if you run this query you will get the total number of record in that particular table so in this promotional email table we have 1,33,926 record now suppose there is a scenario where you want to get the total number of record or the count of record based on a particular condition right so in the count function definition you can see here is that it returns the number of rows that matches a specific criteria right so if you want to apply or if you want to evaluate a certain criteria and then you want to get the total number of record within that table you can use this count function so for example let's think of a scenario that we will have multiple records of subscriber ID of the same subscriber ID within that table because each subscriber ID will get at least two or three email on a single day so if we want to get the total number of emails that has been sent to a subscriber we can basically take the count of subscriber in that particular table and we will get the total number of email that the subscriber has received reason being is that until unless the email has been delivered into that subscriber email id the, the data will not be present in that table right so what we can do here is that we can simply write select subscriber underscore id as the first column and then we'll put count star okay now when you put a count star over here this means that we are trying to get the total number of record for that particular for or for a particular subscriber id within a particular table and when you want to get the count of that subscriber or if you want to get the count of that column then you have to use this group by also so we will be grouping by subscriber id now if i run this query you will get each of the subscriber id as a record where you will find the total number of frequency or you can find the total frequency of that subscriber id this means that this subscriber id 3 has received 434 email while this subscriber id 5 have received 1395 email this is how basically you can get the number of record from a table now if you want to understand or learn more about sql then you can click on the right side of this video to watch my other sql videos else if you want to learn about excel for data analytics you can click on the left side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video